Hey gang, Scott here. I got some info for you about the matte tool in Luminar AI. This is one of the tools in the creative group that adds a matte look to your photos. You know, softer, not quite black shadows, not quite white highlights, and it's got some other interesting controls there. We'll go through them all in this video. But really quick, if you are thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. There's a link there that will save you a little bit of money. And uh, speak of support, if you like videos like this, please consider supporting the channel. You can uh, fill up my coffee mug over there and let me come back and keep making more tutorial videos like this. So with that, let's have a look at the Matt tool in Luminar AI. The Matt tool is in the creative group and let me expand all the controls here. You can see right away, I can't adjust anything until you add an amount of the look. So amount controls everything, like the overall how much or how little of this look am I going to get. And right now, with the sliders set the way they are, I'm getting contrast boost and a little bit desaturation on on the colors and so we can see that happening right we're seeing our contrast get enhanced and the colors are getting a little bit washed out now to really understand what this this, uh, this whole tool is doing let me get the contrast set to zero matter of fact I'll just type that one in for vividness and now we'll look at what amount is doing you see the shadows kind of open up the highlights get a little bit dull, and that's what a matte look is, right? If you've done this with an old school like curves technique, I've got a different video on curves that I think shows this. You take your pure black point and raise it up a little bit, and your pure white point, pull that down a little bit. So you're redefining what black and white are, and you get this faded uh, kind of um, just like an older photo type of feel. Maybe something that's been out in the sun too long and lost a little bit of its luster. That's where the fade slider actually comes in. You can amplify that look. I'll push fade all the way over and it gets this very you know, you know, milky, foggy look to it. We can add in some matte look and some fade and you know, um, so we can see what this is looking like. Maybe we'll keep that around there. Contrast helps you rein things in. We saw the contrast by default was up around here. Because as we push amount and fade, things can get really like soft and, and, and fuzzy. Well, contrast gives us that control to amplify that separation of light and dark again, right? We've got, you know, it's a convenient slider. We have other tools to control contrast, but it's nice that it's right here at your fingertips. And last is vividness. We can actually push saturation up or we can pull it back. And I tend to like pulling it back, making it go negative with the uh, the matte look, you know, really, you know, kind of pushing that vintage type of feel to a photo. And so as I'm fiddling around with the sliders here, just kind of watching the photo, it's um, less about the numbers, more about the look. You know, something like this already, you know, before that change and after, just a different mood to the, the photo. And uh, it's um, it's another way to just set mood and set temperament of your images. So if you have scenes where maybe they're a little more timeless or not associated with a very specific time period, you can add this type of look to it. Or if you're doing something that's uh, you know, a creative type of photo where you want to have it feel like it came from a different time, you can do things with the matte look. Now these other controls we have down here, color toning, I'll go through them, but honestly, if you're going to be doing color grading, which is really what this color toning is going to be doing, there are other tools in Luminar that are better suited to that. And we've looked at a couple of them recently in this series, you know, the LUTs tool or split toning. But what does color toning do? Well, we have a range of what colors are we going to affect, right? How, how much of the photo are we going to affect or how little? So let me push this all the way over to 100 and let's pick something in the blues area so we can see what's happening here. So I can give this, you know, a kind of a, a moody, you know, a blue type of feel. And how saturated is that blue? Really saturated? Not so saturated. So you can, you can add a color tinting to the photo with the color range. Uh, it is here. It's a convenience. It does work. I find that the other color grading tools in Luminar, uh, they offer more control and so I'll tend to use those instead of the color toning sliders. But these are here, they are available to you. So uh, you know, if I were to take all of this stuff added up you know, before that change 
and after that change, definitely a very different photo. Um, if I don't want the color tinting before that change, after it, it it has it has its place. You know, I guess I guess I kind of kind of now now that I'm looking at that color tinting. I kind of I'm kind of digging it now. So um so maybe I maybe I'll walk back my statement there. Sometimes color toning it might be the convenience you need. It's just right there. Uh, but that is the matte tool overall. Uh, a couple other things about the tool. We have our masking ability. So if anything looks like it's a little bit uh, you know too uh, matte for your tastes. Uh, we can erase, we can maybe take the, uh, I'll take the softness down, and maybe a 40% opacity, like, I don't know, I want that, uh, maybe I want the cross here to kind of maintain some of its color. So I can go through here and erase the matte look on some of the elements in the photo. So in this example where I did that uh, desaturation, maybe I'll make a second pass at it as well. I can add that back in by removing some of the matte look. So you have access to your masking tools just like you do in most other filters and tools in Luminar AI. So there you go, that is the matte tool top to bottom. You got other questions about it, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, have fun.